What's up everybody, Brandon back again. I'm in my kitchen, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. So, I got my little pre-workout here, and of course, you know, tier one by Citadel Nutrition. If you haven't been able to guess already, I kinda like them, kinda. I don't even know if you can see that, but this is a brand new tub I just opened up, and this is the worst when you can't actually find the scooper. And although I love Citadel, this is really kind of a pain in the ass because the powder here is really fluffy. So it's really powdery, so it gets everywhere if you're not careful. So there's no real easy way to go about this. And what I can actually see here is they got a new scooper. Typically they have a more square bottom. This seems to be round. So all you guys out there that like round bottoms, that'll do you. And also it looks like they changed the actual length of the handle here. So it used to be really long and the first couple of times you used it, it was a really pain in the ass to put it back in the container. Because it didn't fit, but now it fits pretty good it looks like. So, <coughs> oh, choking on it. So we have that, which is good. Have our little shaker cup here. Let's kind of try to do this so you might be able to actually see me somewhat. And if you can probably tell, I'm using my iPhone right now only because I mentioned in the other video several times that I'm going to be getting rid of my other lens, so I sent it back. I have another one in transit, which will make using my DSLR when I do these videos a little bit more easy. However, a lot of you guys hate the little woodpecker noise as you've said it or you know from the movie The Grudge but what it really is is the autofocus so here you have my camera that I'm going to be bringing in and I could use this right now the problem is is this is a 30 millimeter so shooting even a couple of feet away it would probably crop the hell out of where I am uh, so actually let's do this let's turn this on right now and I'll give you a quick example of what it looks like and why I can't really use it so, let's set this up to record. It's not going to be straight, but that's okay. I'm going to flip this little viewfinder around too so I can see where I am. And there you go. So, what I'll do right now is I'll splice the footage. So, as you see, I'm not very far away, but this camera needs to be set up pretty far. So, right now the iPhone just makes things easier. Now, another thing that I got is I got a package in the mail yesterday, and I figured I'd save the actual opening for you guys with me as I turn off that camera. Now this too is from Citadel Nutrition, so this video is basically a commercial, but I mentioned the other day that they were sending me some fish oil, so fish oil and fish oil and uh, fish oil. And then another note from John, let's see what he says. Sorry for the delay, fish oil came in a little late. Talk to you soon. P.S. Threw in another shirt in case yours was getting worn out. So they are also really good, not only about sending me stuff, but they sent me another performance Citadel Nutrition Under Armour shirt. So these things are great because they really retail for like $23 as is. They then put their logo on it and they send it out. I think they sell it for like 25 or 30 bucks on their site. I have like eight of these. In fact, there's a brand new one. Come over here. I'm wearing the Citadel's Nutrition sweatshirt. I swear this wasn't planned. Underneath, Citadel Nutrition Under Armour shirt. So I really like what they send me in. It's the least I can do to really rep them a lot of times when I go to the gym or other places like that because, again, they really take care of me. So that's what I got going on. I'm going to throw some water in there. Um, then what I'll also probably do is have some of these and we have some of these we'll make a decision there um, people always ask me about whey protein too and to be honest all I have is this oxy elite whey protein which I don't think I've even really used I think I maybe used one scoop out of that you guys know I'm still rocking this machine whey MTS I've had this for literally what's now the fifth month May I've had this for six months and it's still not gone. And then I've had this, this Elite Whey Protein. I think I probably had this for a year. This should definitely be tossed out. I'm not really a big fan of vanilla as is, which is probably why this is still here. Although this is chocolate, but I just never really got into it. So grab me one of these little guys. We'll go with you. And I think that's the last one so we can throw that out. So that's good. 
don't even know why I have half the other shit I have in here. I don't think I use any of this stuff. Rice Krispies, that's my roommate's, needs to be tossed out. He has 50% alcohol in there for some reason, no idea why. Some mac and cheese, some mayonnaise, some tuna, looks like crackers, Bisquick, that's mine. Hungry Jack pancakes, that's mine. What you know about that Funfetti pancake? Um, that's pretty much it. You have some of that instant rice I've showed you. Some 10 calorie Dr. Pepper, my slow cooker, and that's pretty much it. Just some garbage bags and stuff like that down there. I actually have my food dehydrator down there. Oh, we should probably break that out and actually give it a try. I've only used it once, and that was a long time ago. We dehydrated some fruit. However, I'm thinking that maybe we should be dehydrating some beef jerky because it sounds pretty delicious. So I'm going to stop rambling and stop showing you all the crap in my house, and I'm going to get to going to the gym, and you'll see me in the car in just a second. So I also wanted to show you this. I actually posted on Instagram the other day. This is the new Men's Health. And this guy, I guess he's from Godzilla, but to me he kind of looks like the guy from Harry Potter, only Jack. But they had this article here about squats, which is great because most, almost everybody should be squatting. But I put this on Instagram because you see this. All right, yeah, you get down here, and then what's the problem? Look at that left ankle. Look at that raised heel, literally. And then I also made a joke because he is wearing CrossFit shoes, so I said this kind of contributes to CrossFit's bad name. Not that there's anything wrong with those shoes. In fact, I would love a pair of those shoes if they weren't 100 bucks. Maybe I'll still pick some up just to do a review. I think those are the Nano 2.0s. Actually, they might be the 3.0s. I wasn't necessarily taking a dig at CrossFit, but this contributes to why people associate bad names with it. But I just thought that was funny because, honestly, Photoshop that down or something. Come on, guys. All right, so we're back in the car, like I just said, just outside the gym, about to go in and do deadlifts, and it's gonna be a little bit of a different type of day today, only because if you watch my last actual workout upload that I did, it was two days worth of workouts, and on the front squats, I was talking about how sore and achy I was, basically being a little bitch, or a big bitch, depending on how you wanna justify that. But I talked to Dan about it, and one of the things he suggested was saying that maybe we just need an extra rest day to catch up. So Thursdays is typically one of my rest days, as is Sunday. I train Friday, Saturday, and today being Friday, I'm supposed to do deadlift. So what Dan suggested, is said go in and just hit the main lift for today, which is going to be deadlift, two sets of five. And if you feel like it, go to the second exercise. Otherwise, just call it quits and recuperate and get better, and we'll see how that goes. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in and see how things go, and we'll see how it goes. And I'll talk to you then. The hell am I talking about? All right, so as I said, the goal today was just to do the really first exercise, and that was deadlifts, two sets of five at 520. And I think it went pretty well. These first few reps felt really, really good. Now, towards the end of both of these sets, I found that I lost a little bit of tightness, so I probably should have pulled the slack out of the bar first here in the fourth and fifth reps, but overall, I was really happy with this. Now, one of the interesting things of today is I really didn't spend any time warming up as far as mobility or any work like that. I pretty much just came in, put weight on the deadlift bar and worked up from 135 and it went really well. So here you're seeing the second set. Again, this time the only difference really is I just turned my hat to face the other way. First rep goes really well, second rep goes really well. And again, I felt pretty strong and I don't know if it's because that my weights are just getting back to where they should be or the fact that I knew I wasn't really doing a lot of work so I wanted to focus on the work that I had to do. But I did this, I felt good, I felt like I probably could have done more but I didn't push it only because my goal here is to recover because we have a heavy squat day coming up Monday. So I just got back from the gym, if you couldn't tell already based off of all the chalk marks still on my shirt. And I actually got two boxes here to open and let's be honest, coming home to one box waiting for you is really nice, but coming home to two boxes, well now that's just a fantasy. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this first one as I think it's probably more relevant to the channel first and it's a box within a box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up probably ruining everything inside with this knife, but that's all right. That knife is pretty dull. And what we have here, if you can see this, is the Sigma lens I had mentioned. So this came pretty quick. Like I said, this was out of stock everywhere. I ended up finding a really good deal on a used one, so hopefully it's not all kinds of fucked up. But we're gonna go ahead and put this on the camera. Actually, no we're not. Instead, we're gonna go ahead and open the other box and then we'll put it on the camera. So here's the second box that I got, and I'm pretty sure I know what this is, and I think it's actually one of two. I believe another one is on its way. And as you can see right here, or maybe you can't see right here, 
we actually have some Quest bars. So here we have just kind of a variety pack. We have, it looks like right here, the chocolate chip cookie dough, which is one of my favorites. We have another one here of the peanut butter and jelly. We also have another box here of the cookies and cream. And finally, we also have some pasta, which I've never had. And it looks like actually two kinds of pasta. We have a spaghetti and we have a fettuccine. A very nice, how much? So that's pretty cool. So thanks a lot to Quest for sending this. I think, like I said, that they're actually going to be sending me another box very similar to this. And if that's the case, what we'll likely do is a giveaway and we'll probably package in some of that Citadel Nutrition stuff. Maybe some of the other t-shirts I've been collecting that just don't fit because I'm pretty fat and I always ask people to send me schmediums. But keep your eye for a lookout for this. I have to figure out what I want to do. So don't just say send it to me because I won't and I'll ban you. Not so serious, but... I will figure out some kind of giveaway to give back to you guys. I just gotta figure out with people being international. So let's put on this other lens because I'm sure you wanna see this beautiful face and we'll be right back. All right, so we now put the lens on and if you remember from earlier in the video where I showed you the camera where's where it was and I had the 30 millimeter on, this is the new lens at the exact same distance. Now this is at 18 millimeters and the nice thing about this lens is the fact that it can go up to 35. Now if I really wanted to zoom in, let me show you at the other end of the spectrum. So a lot more zoomed in. So obviously for this close of range, I likely wouldn't use this setting, but I have the option to go back and forth, which is nice and you still get a pretty high quality picture. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not on Mark Lowbliner's level yet, but anyways, let me zoom back out. And one of the things that we're gonna do today, and you might hear that clicking noise only because I'm not really messing with the settings right now, so I just have it on autofocus. I'm gonna go ahead and have some beef shaved steak for lunch. This is 14 ounces. We'll see what I do about carb sources only because I just had those pop tarts as you guys saw, which is pretty heavy on carbs. And today's a Friday and I usually go out with my girlfriend or do something nice for dinner and before McDonald's. So I wanna make sure I do have some room available to kind of mess with my macros if I need to. So I'm gonna cook this up. I'll likely show it to you if you really wanna see it. And then it'll probably be the end of the video because let's be honest, you can only take so much of me. That's what she said. So shout out to my boy Tim over at Garage Workouts. He is probably one of my favorite intros because he uses that awesome clip from the movie They Live, which stars Hot Rod Roddy Roddy Piper. So definitely check out Tim. I'll link it in the description and check out They Live if you haven't before. It's really bad, but it's really funny, which makes it really awesome. So here you have what I'm actually gonna be eating. Again, that's 14 ounces of that shaved steak. I threw in about two cups of spinach. It's hard to tell because as you all know, spinach wilts as you cook it. And then also finally to top it off, I'll be using some of this little bad boy right here, that Sweet Baby Ray's. This is still hot, you can probably pick up some of that steam, so I'll watch some of Tim, and I'll get to this food, and that's gonna wrap it up. So, as always, everybody, thanks for watching, and in the meantime, stay big.